Do you get lower back pain every single time you try to train your abs? Are you frustrated because when you take Pilates or group fitness classes, your lower back just aches afterwards? You want to achieve a stronger core, but you're just not quite sure how to get there. Don't worry, I'm here to help. My name is Caroline Jordan, and I'm a certified health and fitness coach here to teach you how to use movement as a medicine. In this abs for bad back workout, I'll guide you through safe and effective exercises that will enable you to build a foundation of core strength without hurting your lower back. In fact, done consistently, this video will help you build your abs to a place where you're ready to tackle more advanced core strengthening exercises or that Pilates class without any stress. I challenge you to use this video three to five times a week for at least one to two months and see what kind of results you experience. When you do feel better in your lower back and in your life, I want to hear all about it. Use this video for a couple of months and then come back over on the channel and leave me a comment and let me know how you feel in your body, in your performance, and in your life. This video was created special thanks to Caroline Jordan Fitness Patreon supporters. A Patreon is someone who donates a small dollar amount every month to help contribute to future channel growth. So if you enjoy and benefit from the video content on this channel, please consider becoming a Patreon member. The Patreon links are included below in the description box, so check that out and thank you so much for your consideration in supporting me on my mission to share a message of movement as medicine with the world. With all that being said, all you'll need for this workout is a mat and a little bit of space with a positive attitude. And as always, if you've been dealing with lower back pain, you'll want to make sure you check with your doctor or physical therapist before starting this or any exercise routine. Honor your body, move mindfully, and stop if you feel any pain. I'm positive you'll love this abs for bad back workout, so roll out your mat and let's go. Let's start our abs for bad back workout with a little bit of a warm up. Lay down on your mat. We're going to move between imprint and neutral spine to help you warm up and wake up the abdominal exercises so that you know what you want to be engaging as we move through the workout. So neutral spine, there's a small space between your back and the mat. And imprint, you press your back into the floor and flatten your spine on the mat. I'd like you to take a couple breaths and move through neutral spine, small space, and then imprint, using your core to press your back flat to the floor. Breathe with me and let's move. Inhale, and exhale. This is an essential technique that you'll find is so helpful as we get into the workout. Being able to understand the difference between neutral spine and imprint. You'll notice that when you engage your abdominals in your imprint position, you feel a nice lengthening of the lower back and you feel your core start to tighten. Let's do one more together between neutral and imprint. And then I want you to find imprint, flatten your back on the floor. Tuck your pelvis and lift your hips into a hip bridge, lengthening through the fronts of the thighs and feeling the glutes and hamstrings start to engage. Slowly lower down and repeat. Lift up into hip bridge and lower back down. Warming up the body and preparing it for the exercise to come. The hip bridge is so essential when you're trying to train your core. It helps you lengthen through the hip flexors, strengthen the glutes, which are also part of your core. And if you've been sitting a lot or have tight hip flexors from sport or just life, that can really influence what you feel when you do your abdominal workouts. So starting your ab workouts with a hip bridge will kind of help balance out your body and get you prepared to perform the exercises in the best way possible. Good job. Let's do a few more hip bridges 
Moving at your own speed, this is just the warm up. Think about keeping the ribs in and stretching through the front, engaging through the back. One more on your own time, lifting up and lowering it down. Next, let's perform a knee hug. So I want you to bring one knee in, give it a hug and let it loose and switch. Knee in and release. Keeping the ribs in, back flat, little knee hug and switch. Good, just a few things to warm up. When we get into the workout, we'll have 10 exercises and each exercise will be performed for 45 seconds of work and 15 seconds of rest or transition between exercises. Let's do one more each side, keeping the ribs in, back flat, and last one. Good job. Roll to the side and come up to a tabletop position for a cat cow. This is our last warm up exercise. So hands underneath shoulders, knees under hips. I'd like you to round the spine, arch the back, tuck the chin, and then belly down and look up. Try it again, round and tuck, bringing the ribs in, and belly down, look up. Let's do one more together, cat position, and then cow, and I'd like you to find a neutral spine. From neutral spine, we're moving into a first exercise, which is a bird dog. So today we'll do an alternating bird dog reach for 45 seconds. You'll reach one arm out, opposite leg out, and then come back to center and switch. Are you ready to get started? All right, three, two, one, and begin. Opposite arm out, and center, switch. Now I want you to think about the neutral spine and the imprint spine that we warmed up with. Think about pulling your belly button to your back, keeping yourself nice and long, reaching opposite arm and leg away as you pull the abs in tightly. Keep breathing. Think about length. You can of course move slower if that's better for your body, but just don't forget to breathe. You wanna think about breath and connecting the mind to the muscle that you want to work. Your abs, good job, and rest. Next exercise is a bear crawl. We're going to tuck the toes and lift the knees and hold. Are you ready? You're so ready. In five seconds, nice and strong, ribs in, shoulders down the back, and go. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, and hold. From here, you're pushing the floor away. Try to make sure your shoulders are over your wrists. Bring your ribs in and press through the toes and the hands. This exercise is deceivingly hard. I always see it and I'm like, that can't be that hard. Then you do it and you're like, mm, this is tough. This is so tough. So keep breathing, pull the abs in. Make sure your hips are in line with your shoulders. So you don't want your butt up in the air and you don't want to hang your head down. So everything is nice and strong. I hope you're feeling this. I know I am. You've got about five seconds left. Stay with it and relax. Lay on your back. So now we'll do a dead bug or an isometric hold. So you'll bring your legs up, press your hands against your knees, keep your back flat on the floor, and you're going to press the knees into hands and hands into knees. Ready? Go. Press. So I want you to push your knees into your hands as you push your hands into your knees. Keep breathing. Now, this exercise is also very hard. Make sure that your ankles are in the same line as your knees. You're not hanging them down. Keep everything up. Breathe. 45 seconds. This is tough. Hold on, you can do it. Remember, mindset is an essential ingredient to your success. I hope you're shaking. I know I am. Stay with it. Whew. Breathing. You can always rest and press pause. The luxury of the pause button on YouTube. Always good. And relax. Next is a reverse curl. So hands by your sides. All you're going to do is use your abdominals as you lift up and lower down. Lift up and lower down. Ready? Set. And let's do it. Up, 
and lower. Now, if you want to, as soon as you start to feel that you've gotten stronger in your core, you can build your range of motion, dropping the heels lower towards the floor. But you want to stay in the imprint position. Don't lose that connection to the mat. So breathing, stay with it, press through the arms to give you a little bit of assistance. Whew, I feel this. Fabulous, so good. Who said this would be easy? This is gonna help you get so strong. Hang in there, nice strong reverse curl, and relax. Feet on the floor, keep that connection, that imprint, all we do next is reach up and hold. So we're doing a little bit of a shoulder curl. You can, of course, bring your hands behind your head. That's a great option. So when you're ready, up and hold. Now, if you'd like to, you can reach your arms by your sides. If you're feeling really strong and you've been performing this routine on a consistent basis, you can bring your legs to tabletop. But you want to keep the imprint, so don't let your back arch. If you need the neck support, hands behind the head, let your head rest in your hands and breathe. Good job, you're doing great. Connect to the mat, chin away from chest. If you're using the head support, let your head rest heavy in your hands. Your abs should be on fire. This is great. I'm feeling awesome. I hope you are too. Stay with it. Oh, okay, that was hard. Bring your legs to tabletop. Keep that imprint. Our next exercise is heel taps. You want to maintain 90 degrees in the legs, so no floppy feet. Hands by your sides, ready, and let's do it. You're going to tap a heel and bring it back up, connecting to the mat the whole time. Do not let your back arch. So notice I'm staying in 90 degrees with my legs. Often when I coach clients, they kind of do this, and that's, that's cheating. <laughs> you don't want to cheat, you want stronger abs. So keep those 90 degree positions with the legs. Use your core, you can do it. You can do it if you focus and try hard, and believe in yourself, and surround yourself with positive support. I'm here on this channel to cheer you on. I know you can do it. Hang in there, keep breathing. Heel taps, whoo, it's working. We're doing great. Nice job, and meet me on your side. Next up, we've got a side plank. Bend your knees for modified. You can come up or straight legs out. Ready? I'm not gonna lose my mat in four seconds. So either bent knee, modified side plank, or straight legs. Go, lift it up and hold. Squeeze your bottom forward, abs nice and tight. Hang in there. Now you know we have two sides for side plank. Awesome. I hope you enjoy this video. And once you're ready, you can try some of the other ab videos on this channel and see after using this video, if you revisit those videos and your back feels A-OK. -okay. Good, feel free to modify or take a break. 45 seconds is a long time for a side plank. Keep the abs in nice and tight and make sure your hip bones are stacked. Open up that chest. Good, you've got seven seconds left and we'll switch sides. Smiling is very advanced especially in this exercise. Woo, okay, 15 seconds to transition. Switch it over other side, side plank number two. So long legs, lift away from the mat, use the bottom lat in three, two, and go. Here we go, 45 seconds. Now remember, if you're modifying, it looks like this. You're down on your knees and you're lifting the hips away from the floor. Remember, there's no shame in your modification game. If you need to modify, Modify. No one's judging. It's not about what advanced exercise you do. It's about how you feel in your body and how how you feel impacts how you live. All right? So stay with it. You've got 20 seconds left. Hip bones stacked. Ribs in. Breathe. Breathing. Nice job. Hang in there. 45 seconds feels like a really long time when you're inside plank. <laughs> Is, are you sure this timer is right? Is it broken? I don't think it's broken. It's not broken. Darn it. Okay, we're on our belly for a Superman. So you're gonna bring your arms out in front, legs long behind you, push your hip bones into the floor, and then our Superman hold, we're just going to lift up. And this is also a core exercise. Ready, set, and go. So we lift up and hold. 
Now, if you want a variation, you've been using this video consistently, you want to mix it up, you can lower down and lift. Personally, I like holding because I can focus on engaging my abdominal muscles, pushing my hip bones into the floor, and just thinking about the muscles I want to feel. It really helps. You can also play with some arm movements, reaching and pulling, maybe Pilates swimming. Play with it. Movement doesn't have to be serious. It can be fun. It can be play. It can be just about feeling good. You've got eight seconds left. Keep breathing. Stay with me. Woo! This is tough. Okay, relax. One more, we've got a plank. You can choose to be on your hands or on your forearms. I choose forearms just because I like to give my wrists a break. So we'll bring the forearms on the floor. For modification, you're on your knees or to advance if you're on your toes. Ready? And go. Lift it up, squeeze the butt, and hold. Now, if you have access to a mirror, just make sure that your hips are in line with your shoulders. You're as long as a plank. Keep pulling your ribs in and think about squeezing everything. If you do a plank a day, it'll keep the doctor away. Oh yes, you heard it here first. Stay with it, 18 seconds left. The plank is a great place to tell yourself something positive, like you can do it, I believe in you, I'm proud of you for being here, good job, you showed up today. Showing up, number one secret to success. Hold that plank, take a nice deep breath, and there's your bell. Meet me in a tabletop position. Take a nice deep breath. Round the spine, arch the back, tuck the chin. And then belly down, look up. Find your neutral. And then come to a comfortable seat. That was your abs for bad back workout. I hope it helps you feel so strong in your core fitness that you're able to do everything you want to do in life. Special thanks to Built Boost for keeping me hydrated for this workout today. Built Boost is a vitamin powder that you add into liquid for an extra energy boost. It's zero calorie and filled with vitamins that you don't usually get in your daily diet. Today I'm drinking the Apricot Pineapple Built Boost and I really like the taste. So I'm so grateful for Built Boost for supplying me with some feel good vitamin powders to keep me and my abs in good shape. You did great with that workout, and I hope that it helps serve you in your fitness and your life. If you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button, or leave me a comment below and let me know how you feel. Till next time, cheers to you, your abs, and the future of fitness and feeling good in your life.